All right, guys. It is an absolutely, I mean, spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful day. Here is it here in the end times. It is, I think it is Tuesday. What would that be? April 18th, 2023. And uh, I am spending this absolutely gorgeous day driving around uh, the eastern United States dealing with this broken ankle where my sister slipped and fell on Saturday. Good God, this is my life. So we are now in Cleveland, Tennessee is where we've ended up. Um, so anyway, while I'm waiting for the latest uh, diagnosis, what can we talk about it? We're going to do a review of this, uh, I guess you call this thing a movie last night. So, you know, with my invalid sister sitting in the Airbnb, we turn on Netflix and decide to watch the number one rated movie on Netflix, I guess, today. is some thing called, I guess, a romantic comedy, as they call it. Oh, shit, I'm forgetting the name of it. I think it's You People. You People, which is kind of... And I'm probably dating myself. There was a great movie called Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. Uh, sometime back in the last millennium, which is a great movie. So this is, I guess, some sort of modern update of Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. This romantic comedy for the normies. So, uh, you know, the old Doomer and his, the crusty old Doomer and his normie sister watching uh, this movie. So, the setup is... And I, I, I don't I don't even need to give you a spoiler alert because I am not recommending you watch this vomit inducing movie. Truly, truly awful. Uh, just it, it, it's just one more doomer nightmare. But the setup is that this Jewish guy, is marrying a black woman and a white Jewish man marrying a black Muslim woman and of course uh, the repercussions with their respective families especially the uh, parents so it's the uh, I guess the black father Played, I think it's Eddie Murphy and the Jewish mother the mother of the groom and the father of the bride are the main offsets to the uh, to the young couple getting married and before I even get into the whole doomer angle so uh, the, the the first thing well, what do you notice first? I think the first thing I noticed in this movie, which maybe it is worth looking at if you're... It, it, I, I think I've spotted this new trend where the young couple never says how old they are. I'm figuring late 20s, perhaps. Let's call them 28 to 30 years old. That they are fat. The parents... The older generation, uh, particularly the white folks, but I mean, Eddie Murphy's not fat. So you've got all four parents are, are, are you know, are slim and, and have nice, healthy BMIs. But the leading actor and actress, I have no clue who either one of these people are. The, the leading, you know, the young white Jewish guy and the young black woman. No clue who they are, but they're both fat. And I'm thinking, uh, so I guess they're normalizing fat people in the younger generation. And, I, and I'm watching this thinking, you know, I really feel sorry 
for these young actors and actresses coming up today now. Uh, these 20-something uh, actors and actresses who actually work to keep themselves attractive, you know, slim, fit, and, and, and attractive, losing the part to these fat asses. Uh, it's, so they're now, you know, it used to be at least you could go to a movie uh, and, and, and have some heartthrob that I, that, that I, at least if I'm watching some god-awful fucking normie movie, at, at least I, I could be looking at some 20-something hottie or, you know, the girls uh, could be, you know, looking at some 20-something heartthrob. But now you're going uh, in there uh, and looking at 20-something actors, and, and you're looking at these blobs of adipose tissue. Uh, you know, I, I thought of Bill Maher. Is that how you pronounce that guy's name about when he was talking about... <clears throat> how we need more fat shaming uh, in this country, not less. You know, he was holding up a picture of the, if I'm recalling this right, I think it was the fat man at like the 1914 World's Fair, you know, where people would pay to sit there and, and, and look at this guy, the, 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 this guy sitting on a stool in a pair of shorts with no shirt on. He was the fat man in 1914. My guess is the leading man, whoever this actor was, in 2023 was fatter than the fat man uh, in, in 1914. I, I have no doubt about it that he was. And I was reading this goddamn article in the New York Times uh, yesterday about fat shaming, how I guess in New York City that fat shaming is literally going to be made illegal, that you can have people arrested for fat shaming you. Uh, good fucking God, you know, I'm down here in uh, Redneck Ridge, we went in. <laughs> I wish you could have seen it. I, I really wish I had one of these, what do they call them, the, the, these GoPros, these kind of secret cameras uh, that, that I could go into any of these restaurants. We went into this catfish and barbecue restaurant in Chickamauga, Georgia on a Friday night for the all-you-can-eat catfish dinner. Oh my God! I I, I mean, it, it it was like walking into a you know a walrus colony, just this 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 sea uh, of adipose tissue, just these fat blobs. I mean, they would be behind the, the, the you know the edge of the table, would be pressing into their stomachs, uh, so the so. They were as far back as they could plaster themselves against the booth and the and the edge of the table. This was all over the fucking restaurant, and and, and the tops of their bellies were were hanging over the uh, the tops of the table, and, and and they would have these big ass trays full of goddamn catfish and french fries and hush puppies stuff in their fat ass faces and and, and watching these the, the these blobs like you know like these walruses pulling themselves up on well it used to be an ice flow but you know now pulling themselves up onto a rocky beach you know getting in and out uh of their seats the stuff they're fat fucking faces with all the goddamn catfish uh, they could eat. I, I, I mean, it's just, it just ruined your fucking appetite. Anyway, I think I'm getting off track. Where was I? So anyway, so the first thing you notice, uh, with uh, even with the sound down, uh, not even not even listening to the dialogue, 
uh, the you know the predictable dialogue, and there there was a there were a few funny throwaway jokes in there. Okay, I'm not saying it was complete that that normie humor. Uh, a little bit of it's funny. I mean, there there were a few chuckles in there, but generally speaking, you you, you can imagine what I endured. What was this for an hour and forty eight minutes? I I sat there and endured this insult to my intel intelligence. But the other thing that you could notice with the sound down, other than these fat ass. Uh, walruses, uh, the youngsters. Uh, so I was actually hot for the mother. The the mother, the Jewish mother. I don't know who the hell is. She was a hottie. Uh, and, and I'm looking at these two skinny uh, people. I don't know. I guess in their fifties. The the man, the the mother and the father with uh, BMIs of probably 20, 21, maybe, with, with this fat pig uh, of a son. Uh, I anyway, so at least I got to enjoy uh, looking at some haughty 50-something-year-old uh, Jewish woman. But the other thing you notice, of course, that, that this, this woman, whoever this fat, a uh, young woman was who was the leading actress, uh, the, the young leading actress. It was supposed to be black. She wasn't black. She was high yellow uh, is, is what she was. The, the woman was, was high yellow. You know, she could pass the paper bag test of any... Uh, I'm, I'm probably... Uh, probably pushing the envelope here, but uh, <laughs> any Southerner listening to this here, uh, this rant from Cleveland, Tennessee, knows exactly what a high yellow is who could pass a paper bag test. So they couldn't even get a black woman. It's like a lot of the times, it's like their skin tones between the black woman and the white man there was there was hardly any difference. It, it, the least they could have done it, it is uh, it, it is is you know found an actress who was not a high yellow you know someone who would have failed the paper bag test. Uh, so there was that. Then of course uh, you you know there was the chicken shit uh, angle they took uh, where. It was a white man marrying a black or high yellow paper bag woman. Uh, you know what I'm saying. It wasn't the other way around. It was not. Uh, and, and, and you guarantee, goddamn, to you, this was uh, was by design for this Netflix romantic comedy. It was not a uh, a black guy marrying a white girl. That that would have uh, you know set off all kinds of. So there were two chicken shit for that. Uh, so it was the the white guy marrying the black woman. But of course the setup uh, 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 of the whole movie was the black Muslim parents dealing with their daughter marrying a, a white Jewish man and the white Jewish parents uh, dealing with uh, their son marrying a black Muslim woman, and uh, and 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 you know the, just the predictable shit. Uh, the movie just went, you know, checked off all the normie boxes. Uh, just going down the line of, of normie boxes. But uh, the, the whole point uh, about parents being freaked out about their 
children marrying somebody out of their tribe, stepping out of their tribe and and holding political, well, religious, political, racial, cultural, all of this stuff, beliefs that were different than their own and, 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 and dealing with it. And uh, I'm watching this thing. I made a couple of comments to my sister. I don't think she even understood what I was talking about. It was that they need to make a movie... This, this would be a hilarious fucking movie, never going to be made, is if your normie child is marrying a doomer, uh, what this would look like is, uh, you know, some normie parents and their, whether it's their son or their daughter, uh, marrying a doomer. And you can, and the thing about doomers, I, I, I mean, we are the most tolerant group of people I've ever met. Now, there's probably not a whole, but, but we even have a few Republican doomers in, in here. I, I, I mean, doomers, everybody hates us. Everybody hates us. White, black, Asian. Uh, Christian, Jewish, Muslim, gay, straight, uh, you know, probably most of the trannies hate us. Uh, it, it, you know, we are the most despised uh, group of humans, and, and, and I'm just thinking of the, uh, so what would you, what, what would, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm watching you know, like the like the black parents uh, dealing with their black Muslim daughter marrying this white Jewish guy, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, uh, would this dude would, would this dude rather have his daughter marrying a white Jewish guy? Are marrying a black Muslim doomer, cause or you know, or vice versa, or the uh, or, or the Jewish parents would they rather uh, their son be marrying a black Muslim woman or be marrying a white Jewish doomer? Uh, <laughs> just these normies thinking, uh, oh my God. My kid is marrying a doomer because obviously there's not going to be any grandchildren. That goes without saying. <clears throat> you, you know, of course, the set, you know, the first time the white guy meets his future black in laws, I, I mean, with, within very first meeting, very first meeting, within 90 seconds. They're talking about the grandchildren. He, you know, he's talking about the kids they're going to have. Uh, so anybody's kids, you know, anybody, anybody marrying a doomer, uh, they know that they're not going to get grandchildren out of the deal. That, that's a fucking given. Uh, Jesus, I was just... Uh, but, but, but the conversations... You know that these normies are having obviously uh, the doomer shit. Maybe the Jewish mother. You know they were very liberal. Not not only were they white and Jewish, but uh, they were very left wing liberals. I don't know who this is joining this rant. Who are you? This is a. What are you? Just some very boring looking sparrow looking bird. Uh, how many doomers? Well, we had Woody Harrelson in 2012 and whoever the chick was and don't look up that doomer chick. How many doomers in movie history have uh, ha have we had? 
so we we need we need Netflix. Well, they ran Don't Look Up, so uh, you got to give. I think was was Don't Look Up on Netflix. I'm pretty sure it was. You got to give Netflix some credit for Don't Look Up, but uh, I have never seen. Uh, but anyway, you people. We need a movie, you doomers, or you normies. That's what we need. We need the doomers. We, we need a doomer director. You know, Robert Redford had a little bit of doomer director in him. We need to make a, uh, a movie, you normies. Oh, God. I am in Cleveland, Tennessee, guys. Cleveland, Tennessee. There is just a, uh, <laughs> the billboards. I could do a whole route. We just passed a, what did it say? True Christians love their enemies, even Democrats. True Christians love their enemies, even Democrats. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I I honestly don't know if if a uh, or is, is it, or is it Jesus Jesus loves everyone, even Democrats. Anyway, true Christians love their enemies. Jesus loves everyone, even Democrats. And uh, you can imagine the. Uh, the pro-life billboards all over the state of Tennessee. I will have to uh, get some of these, but we're going to go to the Old Fort Restaurant. After this, I really wish, guys, I could sneak this camera into the Old Fort Restaurant. And I'm going to take a wild guess how many skinny people are going to be in the Old Fort restaurant in Cleveland, Tennessee, and an even wilder guess how many black folks are going to be are going to be eating at the Old Fort. How many skinny black people are going to be eating at the Old Fort restaurant in uh, in Cleveland, Tennessee, the Old Fort restaurant uh why would anyone name their restaurant the Old Fort? Uh, I mean, you're setting yourself up. Oh, well. Let me go check on my, uh, my crippled, skinny, quite liberal sister. Yes, little dog, are you, uh, yes, are you stuck or what? We gotta go check on your Aunt Mary. And you want something from the old fart restaurant? Anyway, get out there and enjoy your biscuits and gravy while you still can. And do not watch you people on Netflix. Fucking normies. They just don't fucking get it. Bye, guys.